Then said our Lord in her mind, No man shall slay thee, nor fire burn thee, nor water drench thee, nor wind parch thee. For I may not ever forget thee, how thou art inscribed in my hands and feet. I am pleased to have suffered for thee. I shall never have wrath towards thee, but I shall love thee without end. Though all the world be against thee, dread thee not, for they can never get the better of thee. I swear to thy mind that if it were possible for me to suffer pain again, as I have done before, I would prefer to suffer as much pain as ever I did, for thy soul alone rather than thou should be parted from me without end. And therefore, daughter, right as thou seest the priest, take the baby at the font stone, and dip it in the water, and wash it from original sin. Right so, shall I wash thee in my precious blood for all thy sin. And though I withdraw sometimes the feeling of grace from thee, either in thy speech or in thy weeping, dread thee not thereof, for I am an hid God in thee, that thou should have no sense of self-reliance, and that thou should know well, thou might not have the gift of holy tears, nor such spiritual communion, but only when God will send them thee. For it is the free gift of God, without thy own personal merit and he may give them to whom he will, as he sees fit. And therefore, take them, meekly and thankfully, when I will send them, and suffer patiently when I withdraw them, and seek earnestly till thou may be granted them. For tears of conscience, devotion, and compassion are the highest and sincerest gifts that I give in this world. And what more could I do for the least of my followers than were I to take thy soul out of thy body and place it in heaven? And that I will, but not yet. Nevertheless, wheresoever God is, heaven is, and God is in thy soul, and many an angel is about thy soul to keep it both night and day. For when thou goest to church, I go with thee. And when thou sittest at thy table, I sit with thee. And when thou goest to thy bed, I go with thee. And when thou goest on a journey, I go with thee. Daughter, there was never an offspring so devoted to its parent as I am to thee. 
and I shall always keep thee. I fare sometimes with my grace to thee, akin to how it is with the sun. Sometimes thou knowest well that the sun shineth all abroad, that many folk may see it. And sometimes it is hid under a cloud, so that folk do not see it. And yet it is the same sun, nevertheless, in his heat and brightness. And right so, in similar way, this is how I fare with thee, and with all my chosen soul.